486 tunable absorption detector. Uh, the system is connected to a water's uh, 510 HPLC pump system in order to simulate the working of the machine. The system needs sample lines to be hooked up. On power up, the unit indicates uh, that the lamp is on. And the system also runs the diagnostics on power up and any error messages will be indicated. The unit is operated from the keyboard over on the front. After initialization, the system goes into cal mode, the calibration mode. The unit will calibrate at the wavelength of 656 nanometers of my mercury wavelength or the detourer length that is inst installed inside the machine. <laughs> There's the auto zero function available and also the wavelength. We can select a, wave a wavelength where the detection to be done. This is AUFS, the absorption unit's full-scale display. Also, there is a diagnostics key here to enter various diagnostics modes of the machine. The polarity on the analog output can be reversed using the polarity key. And the lamp key can be used to turn on and turn off the lamp. There's also a key for chart marks and display. And filter key enables to adjust the signal to noise ratio. Once the calibration is finished, the system will initialize to the last set wavelength. The unit just finished the calibration and it is indicating wavelength. There are two display lines here. The upper LCD display will indicate absorption or transmission and the lower display will indicate the wavelength. And now, by selecting diagnostic mode and 27, pressing enter key, I'm going to run a scan of wavelength from 190 nanometers to 600 nanometers. Right now the system is moving the wavelength selector to 190 nanometers and it is indicating as the wavelength is increasing the absorbance value. The system could be also operated from a remote interface using your IEEE 488 interface connection. And various lamp signals and analog signal interfaces are to be terminated on the back side of the machine. At any point of time, any data if it is to be cleared or changed, the clear button can be used. And to adjust this, the displayed absorbance units or transmission units or sample energy level to zero, the auto zero function can be used. A detailed user manual will be included with the machine. Now the scan is complete. I'm going to show how to turn off the lamp. I press the lamp key, the lamp is off. And you want to, whenever you want to leave the system in standby mode, it's better to turn off the lamp to save the lamp life. <laughs> 